Today, we are delving into the resplendent world of Renaissance art, an era that transformed the canvas of artistic expression. In this video, we'll uncover the brilliance and significance of Renaissance art. To understand Renaissance art, we must first immerse ourselves in the context. The Renaissance was a cultural rebirth that flourished in Europe from the 14th to the 17th century, a time of enlightenment, scientific discovery, and artistic innovation. Renaissance art refers to the artistic movement that emerged in Italy during the late 14th century and continued to spread across Europe over the next few centuries. It is characterized by a revival of interest in classical art, literature, and learning from ancient Greece and Rome. The Renaissance was a time of significant cultural and intellectual growth, and its art reflected this through its focus on realism, humanism, and perspective. Key Characteristics of Renaissance Art Renaissance artists introduced groundbreaking techniques that set them apart from their predecessors. They embraced realism and naturalism, striving to portray the world with accuracy. Their innovation is evident in techniques such as linear perspective, which added depth and dimension, and chiaroscuro, the interplay of light and shadow. There are eight key characteristics that can be attributed to art from the Renaissance period. Realism and Naturalism Renaissance artists aimed to depict the world as realistically as possible. They focused on accurate portrayal of human anatomy, facial expressions, and details of the natural world. This departure from the more stylized and symbolic art of the Middle Ages marked a significant shift. Humanism Humanism was a central intellectual movement during the Renaissance that emphasized the value of human reason, education, and individual potential. This perspective greatly influenced the subject matter of Renaissance art, which often featured human figures in various settings. Linear Perspective Renaissance artists developed techniques to create the illusion of depth on a two-dimensional surface. Linear perspective involves using converging lines to create the impression of distance, giving paintings a sense of depth and three-dimensionality. Chiaroscuro Chiaroscuro is a technique involves the use of strong contrasts between light and dark to create a sense of volume in modeling three-dimensional objects and figures. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Caravaggio were known for their mastery of chiaroscuro. Sfumato Developed by Leonardo da Vinci, Sfumato refers to the blending and softening of edges between colors and tones. This technique creates a subtle, gradual transition between colors and contributes to a sense of depth and realism. Classical themes and mythology Renaissance artists often turn to classical mythology, history, and literature for inspiration. They sought to revive the beauty and ideals of ancient Greek and Roman art, incorporating themes from these cultures into their works. Individualism Renaissance art began to emphasize the unique qualities of individual subjects. Portraits gained importance, and artists started signing their works, marking a departure from the medieval practice of anonymity. Fresco painting Frescoes are paintings created on wet plaster walls. This technique was popular during the Renaissance, particularly in Italy. Artists like Michelangelo adorned the ceilings of grand buildings, such as the Sistine Chapel, with intricate frescoes. The Renaissance spanned several centuries and saw the evolution of artistic styles and ideas. Within this period, there are three distinct phases known as the Early Renaissance, High Renaissance, and Mannerism. Each phase has its own characteristics and artistic developments. 
Early Renaissance, 1400-1490s. The early Renaissance marked a shift from the medieval artistic conventions to a renewed interest in classical ideals. Artists focused on achieving greater realism, naturalism, and perspective in their works. Artists like Giotto, Masaccio, and Fra Angelico were prominent during this period. Notable works include Masaccio's The Tribute Money and Fra Angelico's frescoes in the San Marco Monastery. Linear perspective and the use of scientific principles to create depth, attention to anatomical accuracy, and a balance between spiritual themes and humanism. High Renaissance 1490s-1527 The High Renaissance is often considered the pinnacle of artistic achievement during the Renaissance. Artists achieved a harmonious balance between naturalism, idealism, and technical mastery. Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Raphael are the central figures of the High Renaissance. Leonardo's Mona Lisa Michelangelo's David Sistine Chapel Ceiling and Raphael's The School of Athens exemplify the achievements of this period. Highly realistic human anatomy, precise linear perspective, a focus on idealized beauty, and grand compositions that capture complex narratives. Mannerism, 1520s-1600 Mannerism emerged as a reaction to the classical principles of the High Renaissance. Artists began to experiment with distortion, exaggeration, and intricate compositions that deviated from natural proportions. Prominent Mannerist artists include Parmigianino, Jacopo Tintoretto, and El Greco. Parmigianino's Madonna with the Long Neck and El Greco's The Burial of the Count of Orgas exemplify Mannerist tendencies. Elongated proportions unconventional poses, artificial color schemes, complex compositions, and a departure from the naturalism and harmony of the High Renaissance. In summary, the early Renaissance focused on the revival of classical principles and the development of realistic techniques. The High Renaissance reached new heights of artistic achievement with its perfect balance of naturalism and idealism. Mannerism, in contrast, deliberately veered away from these principles, exploring more stylized and emotionally charged expressions. These three phases together showcase the dynamic evolution of art during the Renaissance period. Prominent Renaissance Artists Some prominent Renaissance artists as mentioned above includes Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael and more. Leonardo da Vinci known for his mastery of anatomy, sfumato, and the creation of iconic works like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. Leonardo da Vinci was a quintessential figure of the Renaissance, was an Italian polymath whose brilliance spanned across art, science, and invention. Born in 1452, he epitomized the era's spirit of curiosity and exploration, mastering disciplines such as painting, anatomy, engineering, and architecture. His iconic artworks like the enigmatic Mona Lisa and the visionary The Last Supper continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Leonardo's insatiable curiosity led him to study and sketch nature, human anatomy, and machines, pioneering scientific observations that transcended his time. His notebooks, filled with intricate sketches and ingenious inventions, reveal a mind ahead of its age. A true visionary, Leonardo da Vinci left an indelible legacy as an artist, thinker, and pioneer whose influence still reverberates in the realms of art, science, and innovation. Michelangelo, famous for his sculptural works like the David and his frescoes in the Sistine Chapel, including the renowned Creation of Adam. Michelangelo Buonarroti, an important figure of the Italian Renaissance, embodied artistic genius and virtuosity. 
born in 1475, he left an indelible mark on the world through his masterful sculptures, paintings, and architecture. From the awe-inspiring, David, a monumental sculpture that captures both strength and vulnerability. To his profound frescoes in the Sistine Chapel, showcasing the divine touch in The Creation of Adam. Michelangelo's works are unparalleled in their emotional intensity and technical brilliance. His lifelong dedication to mastering the human form resulted in anatomically precise creations that evoke raw emotion. Beyond his sculptural prowess, he designed architectural marvels, including the iconic dome of St. Peter's Basilica. Michelangelo's profound artistic legacy is etched in the very fabric of Western art history, a testament to his boundless creativity and unparalleled craftsmanship. Raphael, renowned for his harmonious compositions and idealized figures, with works like The School of Athens. Raphael Sanzio was also another key figure of the Italian Renaissance. Born in 1483, Raphael radiated grace and harmony through his timeless artistry. Renowned for his exquisite sense of composition, Raphael's works such as The School of Athens and The Madonna of the Chair embody a rare blend of beauty and intellect. His skillful use of color, delicate figures, and expressive faces conveyed both human emotion and divine transcendence. Tragically brief though his life was, Raphael's legacy endures as a testament to his unparalleled ability to infuse his creations with an enduring sense of elegance and serenity. Titian, an influential Venetian artist known for his use of color and vibrant compositions. Tiziano Vecellio, better known as Titian, was an influential Venetian artist known for his use of color and vibrant composition. Born around 1488, his exceptional ability to capture the vibrancy of light and shade in works like Bacchus and Ariadne and Assumption of the Virgin earned him the title of the Sun Amid Small Stars by his contemporaries. Through rich palettes and dramatic contrasts, Titian's art transcended mere representation, infusing his subjects with emotional depth. His innovative techniques and influential style solidified his position as a luminary of the Venetian school, leaving an indelible mark on the evolution of Western art. Donatello, a sculptor who played a key role in the early Renaissance, creating lifelike and expressive sculptures. Donatello, a pioneer of the Italian Renaissance born in the early 15th century, revolutionized sculpture with his unparalleled skill and artistic vision. His innovative approach, evident in sculptures like the strikingly lifelike bronze, David, and the expressive, Gatta Malata, breathed new life into classical forms. Through intricate detailing and a profound understanding of anatomy, Donatello imbued his works with a sense of dynamic realism that marked a departure from the static traditions of his time. A pioneer in his field, his legacy continues to resonate in the annals of art history as a testament to his transformative influence on sculpture. The Renaissance was a tapestry interwoven with both scientific and artistic threads. This period gave birth to the printing press, which democratized knowledge dissemination. Art paralleled these advancements, fostering emotional connections and narrating stories. The legacy of Renaissance art resonates through time. Its impact can be seen in contemporary art, architecture, and the very essence of cultural expression. The Renaissance artist's dedication to realism, perspective, and humanism continues to guide artists worldwide. As we conclude this exploration of Renaissance art, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of history and creativity. The artists of this era dared to dream, to push the boundaries of their time, and their legacy continues to inspire us today.